Uh. We're totally gonna get arrested. This doesn't look mm. innocent. Tent tour. Oh, you could stand, oh, wow, you could you could stand. stand up in here. All right, so we still have a few more items that we need to pick up from Vons for our meat and cheese platter. All right, so we just grabbed everything we needed. It is probably 85 degrees right now. Am I exaggerating? Time to take the mask off and head over there. We're finally using our picnic basket backpacks. Um, so it comes in this big backpack on the right side. There's this little insulated cooler for wine or your beverages and it keeps your drinks cold. And then on this side, we have the picnic blanket. Um, so there's these small pockets. We have some napkins. More small pockets. We have our Ziploc bags in here. Here. Oh, so if you open up this. Oh. It has four wine glasses, a cutting board, a knife, a wine opener, plate setting for four people. The main component is this insulated, uh, I guess, storage where, you, we, where we have our food in. Hey guys, James and Mark here with another video. We are back at another park. This time we are in Costa Mesa. We're a lot closer to the coast right now and we can kind of get a good breeze. Mark made a meat and cheese board for us to enjoy in the park. Um, we also utilized our picnic basket, which is not even a basket. It's, it's more a backpack, like a backpack, yeah. but it's super cool. There's all of these compartments, features. Highly recommend it if you guys are interested in getting one yourself. We'll leave a link down below in the description. What do we have going on today? So we have our meat and cheese and vegetable and fruit board without crackers. <laughs> so this is, I guess, kind of low carbish. <laughs> we totally forgot. We bought pita chips and it, I forgot to put it in the bag, but we have nuts. To drink, uh, we weren't feeling that adventurous to bring a bottle of wine in the middle of a park. So we got Perrier, which is kind of fancy. And I fancy. feel like this is what the regions would drink on a picnic in the daytime, right? Yeah. Some Perrier. So this picnic basket that we got came with two styles. Um, the outside is the same gray color, but the inside is either the white and red pattern for the blanket and the um, napkin or blue and white. I was wondering what the lemon wedges were for. It's very fancy. Again, you know, this is a fancy trip, so a fancy picnic. Well, cheers, my darling. Cheers. I thought you were going to call me madame. <laughs> cheers, my darling. Mm. Oh, you could do this. It reminds me, it just tastes like a, I haven't had this in a while, but it reminds me of just LaCroix. Yeah. So I'm going to do. What kind of meats did we get? So this is a capola meat. Capicola. Oh. Capicola. Capicola, yeah. It has a good kick to it. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna do some bell peppers with brie. Mm. Mm. So, actually James is so right when he, on the other video, described like what he thought a true picnic is, is laying out a blanket on the floor and ants coming to you. Well, I, I see like three ants already. <laughs> So if you just see us kind of doing these random flicks, <laughs> it's not because, you know, we just are bored. We're just kind of showing the ants away. So 
How many How many of these have we done? Is this our fourth one? Is it? This one oh, feels really? the most picnic-like out of everything we've done. Mm. My favorite combo is like a little bit of cheese, meat, and then a little bit of sweet. Mmm. There's this and that, please. And the plum? Mm-hmm. So good. So a cup of cola. Oh. What's the name of this cheese block again? I forgot. Oh, this might be a lot. <laughs> I actually don't remember the name of the cheese, but you'll like it. Mmm. Right? Mmm. The plum sweetness with That's that so kind of cheese, so good. Yeah. Mmm. Baby, that's a really good combination. Good find. <laughs> what I love about these boards is like we literally made this board two weeks ago. And even then it's evolved over time because our friend introduced us to this cheese. So we're like, oh, okay, like let's add that. And you could always swap things out or whatever's available. After we're done eating, what's our activity today so in our last video we had mentioned that we are going camping very soon and rather than try to pitch our tent at the campsite we thought why not pitch the tent in one of our videos and we're gonna just set it up here at the park let me ask you this for someone that's never made a board what are your, like your top three tips what helps well is this appearance of overabundance of food so what we try to do to kind of give that visual is to make sure you don't have really a lot of dead space on the board. Try to fill it up as much as possible, right? That's a great, that's a great tip. But still you have to make it visually appealing. So if it's just like, if it's just like uh, just pretty crowded, then that won't look pretty either. Right? right, right, right. Try to be strategic. Like we try to angle our meat diagonally to give us some visual artistry. Oh, well, even stick. just putting the greenery underneath that, that's already like... Yeah, so that is actually, that helps give the appearance of abundance, right? Because if we just had to meet without the lettuce on bottom, then you see more of the board. Basically, it's art. And I'm an artist. No, this is... No, this is... <laughs> Where do all these ants come from? So I secretly had a jar of ants and I just like, <laughs> dumped it right behind us. Because as we mentioned, we're going camping. So this week, we are picking up uh, the food that we're making. One of the meals we're gonna do, yakitori, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically like meat, chicken, um, even vegetables like on a skewer, and you cook it op over like an open flame. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our favorite meals to eat, not camping. So why not bring it over to the campgrounds? that's gotten my throat. <laughs> Not the first time you said that. I know. <laughs> Made me cough just like it too. You know, this is our first episode where we're like sitting on the ground. Do you prefer sitting on the ground or on a park bench? I think what I would prefer is for the meal part, eating it on a picnic table. And then when you just want to relax a day, lay down on the picnic blanket. Yeah. Right? Any bell peppers? Can you tell the difference in the colors? Like the uh, taste? Uh, not really. Can you? How about after this bite, I'm gonna, I'll break small pieces and feed you them. And you guess what color they are. Okay. Ready? Oh, I actually have to remember which colors these are. Oh, this one's spicier, okay. Green, red, yellow, orange. <laughs> what? Am I totally wrong? Uh, you only got one out of four, right? So I'll let you guess one more time and then I'll tell you what Well, answer. are you gonna tell me which one I got right? Sure, uh, you got the first one right. Green. Yeah. Green, orange, red, yellow. Oh. What? I got it right? 
How did you get Whoa. it? Wow! I need to buy a lottery ticket today. Yeah? I'm so shocked that you got that. Well, they do taste different. They do. They all taste different. So I'm like, okay, if you're this kind of like taste, I will try to imagine what color would I be. <laughs> That's why I guess what I guess. Interesting. Um, the only reason I did it in that order was I was losing track of how to um, oh, remember it. Remember it. So I just spelled out gory. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, oh wow, your taste buds are very sophisticated. I'm like, take me now. Oh yeah. Is there like a <laughs> thing that comes up and covers us? Oh no, we're building a tent later, but no. No, definitely you can't do that in the tent, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it with the grape as a sweet, sweet factor. Mmm, that's it with grape. Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. With what meat though? I know this one. Back when I was going into my office regularly, because I'm working from home now, this used to be my go-to. Like I would bring maybe five different little things that I can make a small board at work. Obviously it wouldn't look as nice, but some mm. kind of cheese, some kind of meat, some kind of fruit, some kind of nut, and like a like a cracker. So your own like adult version of Lunchables. Oh yeah. 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 Mm. Topoki almonds are good. Yeah. So what else do we have to do today? Maybe some errands, I don't know. I kind of want to suntan a little bit. Are you gonna do it here? I mean, since we're out, maybe for an hour. Did you bring, a, are you gonna just lay on this? Yeah, we should. No, I'm not suntanning. Oh, you not? can suntan, I don't need a suntan. Fine, I'll look like a bronze god then. Uh, speaking of a bronze god, uh, <laughs> I've always wanted to experience this. I don't think we've done that ever before. But can I lay on your lap and you feed me grapes? Yeah? We've never done that before? I don't think we have, have we? Do you want to do it now? <laughs> yeah, what? I mean, we're outside in a picnic, might as well. You want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. There's a family of four, like right next to us. This is pretty innocent, no? Not the way I'm gonna feed the grapes to you. Give me a, give me a lap. It's all, it's all right here. Ugh. We're totally gonna get arrested. Wait, so do I do this or do I just feed you one? I don't know. Mm. This doesn't look mm. innocent. Is this the thumbnail? The grape tastes so much better like this. How? It just does. Hey, I'm the one with the good taste buds today, remember? Oh so my God. Kinda, you have to believe Shut up here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke. Yeah. You're laying down. I'm gonna make choke on grave. <laughs> okay, that's enough. How was living out your fantasy? It was fine, but I was also thinking, is this the way I'm gonna die? <laughs> <laughs> so I immediately got up. You're cute. Why thank you for that. Well, yesterday, Mark also set up his um, outdoor, what is it? Oh, camping table. How do you feel about that? I like it. It's, it. I still need to get used to setting it up, but trust me, I think once we use it on the campgrounds, you're going to be like, oh, this was, this was a good purchase. Yeah. It's been exciting at home because there's just so many things coming in. So I'm just every day, it's like, oh, what is that? What's this? Planning to shoot some footage while we're out there. And that might be our last episode of the park series. So, James and Mark at a national park. <laughs> oh. And we got, yeah, we'll do some finale. Get chased by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. And then we're gonna get set up with our tent now. Yeah, well, and we'll show you how mm -hmm. successful or not we are. Yeah.
you ready to do a tour? Tent tour. Oh, you could stand, oh, wow, you could you could stand. stand up in here. No, but with our air mattress, I don't think we could stand. So how does this work with air, like will it fit through this door? It will, right? Oh, I don't know. And I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Like I can sleep on the rocks. We're on grass. <laughs> so obviously it's more comfortable than... Oh, look, we have windows. No? Yeah. Oh, Hello. nice. Hello. Do you see how when it says six, it means like six, like only six? Yeah. Right. Let's hook this for. Can we like hook something on? Like a light? That seems. I wouldn't hook anything above our head. Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of James and Mark in the park. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna go get some. See you next time. Bye.